Have you ever woken up one morning and decided it was a great day to reorganize your bookshelf? Well, today was one of those days, and it wasn't until all of the books were off the shelf that I wasn't so sure that was a good idea anymore. But let's go back to the beginning. I've decided it is time for a revamp. I am not happy with the current way my shelves are organized, and I just, I'm ready for change. I'm ready for something new, and so we're gonna do that today. We're gonna reorganize my bookshelves. I thought I would start off by running you through how my shelves are currently organized and then I'm gonna take everything off and redo it. So let me take you through a quick little tour of the before. So these are my shelves and my little reading area. The shelves themselves are from Ikea. My chair is also from Ikea. I get a lot of questions about that. And my little reading cart is from Kmart, but they also have that at Ikea. These little pillows are from Kmart and then my little flower blanket is from Target. I definitely don't have enough books to fill up my shelves, but in saying that, this is my TBR cart. And obviously once I read the books, they go onto these shelves. So <laughs> once I read these, I think my shelves will be full. So we need to be able to reorganize it in a way where I can continue to add to it, which is <laughs> gonna be interesting. But as for this, on the bottom here, I tried to kind of have white books or like light books. So we have my Addicted series and then just a bunch of like standalones or other books that kind of have more of a white spine or a light colored spine. Next to that is kind of like my YA shelf, but then I also have YA above that. So <laughs> this is like the YA that doesn't belong in the shelf above. Most of this is romance. So I feel like this is just like my YA that's not romance. And then the shelf above it is supposed to be a rainbow shelf, but I feel like it's, it's, it's not really giving what needs to be given. I feel like this half is okay, but this one, like, no, that's just simply not it. But these are mostly romance with a few, like, general fiction maybe mixed in there. Honestly, probably 90% romance. And I do love having a romance shelf, but I don't know if it's the most practical. It's just so aesthetic, but I don't know. Above that, we have my Sarah J Mass shelf. And this is a bit of a mess because I have this beautiful special edition of Throne of Glass, which I want to display straight on, but it doesn't doesn't fit because there are too many books. Also, there's a lot of places where I'm missing books in terms of like missing one book out of the series or something like that. And most of the time that's either because I haven't read it yet, like the final offer is here because I haven't finished that series, so I can't put it with the other ones, or I've lent it out to a friend. And I always have books lent out to friends. I'm kind of like the resident librarian of the friend group, which I love, but it just means that there's always gaps in my shelf. So if you feel like there is a gap, I probably do own the book. It's just not here right now. So Akatar is missing right now right now. That would normally be there. Obviously Throne of Glass, Crescent City. <laughs> we have my random little Kingdom of Ash, like the mini version, which I love, but I just don't know how to display. So that's a bit of a mess. Then we have my contemporary romance series. Then we have my thrillers or mystery kind of books. I honestly don't know. Moving on, we have fantasy. We have more fantasy. This is actually all Cassandra Clare, and I love having a Cassandra Clare shelf. And once I read the last hours, they can move from here to here. So we'll have like a full shelf. Also we have my TBR jar for my TBR videos every month. Then here it's a bit confusing. I have the last three Harry Potter books random but I've been thrifting them and I'm like pretty specific of the editions that I'm after so I've been collecting them slowly and it just so happens that I only have the final three right now and then keeping in the theme of like nostalgic kind of books we have the Hunger Games and the Divergent series then we have the Atlas Six don't really know why she's there but she is then we have the Shadow Me series again I guess it fits with dystopian but then we have magical realism and then fantasy and then I don't even know what this is considered like sci-fi I, I don't know and then at the very top we have some literary fiction slash other books that just don't belong anywhere else and then my Francine Rivers which is Christian fiction and then over here we have the Poppy War trilogy, the Cruel Prince trilogy because they don't really like fit on any of my other fantasy shelves and then all of the books that I've read so far this month that I just like to keep here until I film my monthly wrap up. So I'm gonna take everything off and we're gonna reorganize it maybe add some decor where there are gonna be gaps because like I said there's gonna be gaps and that's okay because eventually they'll be filled when I read more books and they like come over to the main shelf. I have a general idea of some of the shelves and some of the layouts I want to do, but just not like a very clear picture. So we're just gonna start by taking everything off and we'll go from there. I feel like one of my favorite things about watching bookshelf reorganization videos is just how satisfying it is seeing all of the books come off and then go back on again. Like why is it so satisfying just seeing me sort through books and make little piles and I don't know, I just love it. I could watch it all day long. So first up I was like, you know what? Maybe I should organize things by author instead of color. And then I tried it and it looked awful. And I said, you know what? I'm actually not gonna do that. 
I I'm definitely not going to do that. And so I put it back in rainbow order. And this is the point where I started to stare at the piles that I was making and be like, hey, this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. And I don't know what to do next. Then I was like, you know what? At least I know that I definitely want a Cassandra Clare shelf and I definitely want a Sarah J Mass shelf. So let's get a start on that. And I did it and I liked it kind of, but it still just wasn't exactly right. I don't know what it was, but it wasn't exactly right. But I feel like sometimes with these projects, you just have to have the mentality of, you know what? I'm gonna just move on and we'll come back to it later with some fresh eyes and a new perspective. You know that feeling when you get this sudden burst of motivation to clean your room and so you start pulling apart your entire room, taking out every single item you own, going through your freaking sock drawer and then you get halfway through and you realize, wait, all of my motivation is gone but you look around and your room is a total disaster and so you have no choice but to keep going. That was how I felt at this moment. But anyway, enjoy some book ASMR. And at this point, you might look at the shelves and be like, nice, you're like 70 or 80% of the way done. And then I was like, you know what? I hate it. And I'm going to reorganize the entire thing. And it was at this moment where I thought, what the heck am I going to do? But then I figured it out. A little chatty update is things are moving and I feel like they're moving in the right direction but it's definitely far from done. I feel like I've experimented with so many different methods of like how I want to display things and like organize it and I think I've come to like somewhat of a conclusion. I feel like some bits are literally complete and then some bits are so far from being done but I think what I've decided to do is one shelf fantasy and one shelf contemporary so like romance, general fiction, thrillers, all that sort of stuff because I think I have a fairly even split. So this is the fantasy one, which is what I've been working on more, I would say. I have my Cassandra Clare shelf, which I think is done. And then I just have some other fantasy series and books, Sarah J Mass, which like, it's not my favorite, but like I'm making things work with the best of my ability, I think. Um, and then we, you know, just keep going. But I haven't really done much on the contemporary side. So there's your little update. And I'm going to try and keep working on this and figuring it all out. I feel like after I made the decision to split the bookshelf down the middle, have the left side as contemporary and the right side as fantasy, that's when things really started moving and I feel like I really kind of found my groove with everything. I feel like that's when everything started making sense. I feel like that's when the organizing really worked out for me. So I'm giving myself a little pat on the back for being persistent because we got there in the end. Okay guys, I think I have finally finished the reorganization. It's definitely not perfect. I think because I have extra space, it's almost impossible to make it look complete, but I'm also glad I have the extra space because obviously it means I can fill it with more books. So I'm sure this will change over time as I read more books, but I think, I think I'm happy with it. <laughs> so let me give you a little bit of a tour. I think I'll start at the top this time. So over on the left, we have all of my thrillers and mysteries. Well, most of them. I have a few mystery series that are elsewhere, but these are all like the standalones. Yeah, I don't have too many of them, but this is where their home is. And then over on the right side, this is like the most empty space that I have, but I just have my Francine Rivers collection. And again, I'm sure this space will fill up as time goes on. But for now, it is just, it's just empty, but that's okay. I would rather have empty space at the top rather than the bottom because sometimes I use this space as my filming background and you can't see the top shelf when I'm filming most of the time. So it doesn't really matter if there's empty space there. Like I mentioned to you guys, I decided to do one side fantasy and one side contemporary so most of the contemporary is romance but not all of it is so maybe we'll go through this side first these two shelves are organized in rainbow order obviously we've got the purples we go into the pinks the reds the oranges i don't really have much orange and then yellow again a little bit of space there too but i'm sure that will fill up pretty quickly and then below that we have all of the blues and the greens so like kind of like cool tones and then more warm tones for the most part and i think i like how this turned out i did try organizing it by author to see if I liked how that looked but it just looked so messy to me I feel like this just looks a lot more aesthetically pleasing which obviously if that's not your thing that's not your thing but 
it works for me. And also I don't like to split up series. So it does work for like the standalones. Then below that we have some contemporary series. So we have The Summer I Turn Pretty, Knock Em Out, All The Boys I've Loved Before. I guess these aren't technically a series, but I just like having all of my Emily Henry books together because they just go so nicely together. And also the beach read and the book lovers make it very hard to put them in the like rainbow order because they have multiple colors on the spine. So I thought I'll just add them in this shelf here. And then we also have Magnolia Parks Universe and then The Edens. And then what I kind of did down the bottom here is mostly white books and then mostly black books and then a couple of extras here. But in here, it kind of goes back behind my chair. We just have a few random white spines. Then we have my Addicted Calloway series books along here. And then we have my Calamity Montana books by Devney Perry. It does really annoy me that the color of the books change like halfway through the series. These ones are definitely more gray and these ones have a bit of like a beige undertone or something but like I, I wish it wasn't that way but it is what it is and then down the bottom like I said we have mostly black books and then a few that just don't fit somewhere else and so they kind of got shoved in the corner there I know that sounds terrible but you got to do what you got to do and then here we just have some YA mystery series or just like YA mystery books why they're here because they fit and that's just how we're gonna roll <laughs> but that's the entire left side moving on to the right side I've already shown the top shelf but moving down we have this shelf which is all of my very tall paperbacks at least all my fantasy ones I hate these tall paperbacks they frustrate me a lot but it's just like what we get in Australia instead of hardbacks like I know in the UK and in the US you guys will get a book in hardcover a lot of the time when it's first released we don't get that in Australia we just get these like awkwardly tall paperbacks which like obviously I love a paperback but it's just frustrating on your shelf because they look so odd next to all of your shorter paperbacks anyway I decided to put them all together here just because I love having things in height order I know I didn't do that over here but it just it works on this side so we're going with it but yeah we have obviously some fantasy books here and a plant moving down we have mostly dystopian books here so we have the divergent series the hunger game series and also the shatter me series then we have vicious by v.e schwab hopefully i'll read vengeful soon and then that can go in here and kind of make it look a bit more like it belongs <laughs> a bit more like it has a home here and then the bridge kingdom series only because they didn't fit on my other fantasy shelf and they were colorful so i feel like they just suited this shelf a little bit better than then going elsewhere and I also have a little photo frame here with some photos of Liam and I oh it's kind of reflective how cute is that that is us at formal in 2016 which is insane we were literally babies but anyway this is my Sarah J Mass shelf and I'm not gonna lie I think very soon I'm gonna have to extend into two Sarah J Mass shelves because this is already not enough room I know this is very blasphemous of me but I did have to put the assassin's blade behind here because it literally just could not fit and I bought this special edition specifically so that I could face it outwards and so it needs to be facing outwards but in order for it to face outwards, I have to sacrifice one book and the Assassin's Blade, I'm sorry to say it, it got sacrificed. Then we have my Akatar series. Again, Akatar is missing because I've lent it out, but it will go there normally. And then my Crescent City books and also my cute little mini Kingdom of Ash. Again, I don't really know exactly where to place this. If you have any better ideas, let me know, but I feel like that's the best we're going to get. Then we just have another general fantasy shelf. Most of these are series. So we have the Poppy War trilogy, the Folk of the Air trilogy, the Scholomance trilogy, which I haven't got the third book to yet, Dance of Thieves and Vow of Thieves, Shadow and Bone, Six of Crows, the Play to Prisoner series. And then we have the Style of Sea, which is a standalone. And then we have Kingdom of the Wicked, which I'm not really intending to continue because I just like didn't care for it too much. And then I also have Legend Born, but I haven't got the next book in this series yet. But I love how neat this shelf looks because they're all the same height. I wish all my shelves could look like that, but unfortunately not anyways and then on the bottom shelf we have my cassandra claire shelf which i really really love it's gonna look even better once i've read the last hours because they can obviously fill in this gap here and i feel like they'll fit so perfectly i'll probably put the last hours in between here because they're kind of more related to the clockwork sort of trilogy compared to the other two like these two are kind of related and then the last hours kind of fits more with this one so i feel like i want to keep them together but i just love how this turned out i love this special edition so much i think it's the 10th anniversary edition and it's really affordable if you're looking for a few little fun special editions that aren't going to break the bank the detail on it is stunning and right now i just have a little proper there and then obviously we have my TBR shelf too so I'll give you a little quick glance at that if you want to see what's on my TBR shelf but I feel like there are a lot of books on here at the moment but hopefully these books will all end up on my shelf 
very soon. Oh my gosh, look how beautiful my Throne of Glass edition is in the sunlight. That is so beautiful. Oh, this makes me so happy just sitting on the floor <laughs> staring at my books. But I think that is everything. If you have any questions about anything that you've seen in this video, leave me a comment down below and I'll try my best to get back to you. I'm honestly so happy with how this turned out. Reorganizing my bookshelves is one of my favorite things to do because I find it just so therapeutic. Also, I forgot to mention, we do have one more bookshelf, but it's full of nonfiction. So if you're wondering where all of our nonfiction is and our classics, we keep our classics on there too. It's literally behind you, but that's kind of like Liam's area so I'm not gonna reorganize that because that's his thing but I love how this looks I love how it turned out I really like having the contemporary and then the fantasy I am shocked that I have pretty equal amounts of each because a few years ago I was definitely not a fantasy girly but I definitely am now <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much if you made it to the end I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video very soon good bye